I'm going to show you all the steps needed to reach max level in one week. It's your host Frederick and make sure you follow every step in this guide carefully or you won't be able to get to max level in a week. First up you see the burger and the meat. Click the burger. Press escape R enter to reset. Then click on this right here. You should be spawning here. Press X to sprint and get out of the building. Once you're out of the building, go over here, kill the NPC using your click. Or this one. Then click the body as you saw me do. Repeat this until you get 100 levels. Now listen carefully because this is vitally important. When you are doing this, put 200 focus into speed like I've done here and 100 focus into physical. Now I have trainers so this will mean I put less focus to get the same result, just 150 but you can get the gist, it's 100 physical and 200 speed. You'll probably need the 2 times EXP game pass and the 2 times yen game pass. But do not do any of the trainers, you will do them later, but it is extremely important that you don't do them too early. When you're level 100, enter all the Rogu codes into the chat. Now, I'm not actually going to enter the codes here, but go into my description where I'll put a card on the top right. And you'll find a video with all the current Rogul codes, or you can search up on YouTube Rogul codes. You'll probably find my video, as funny as that is, and enter them all into the chat box. Enter them all in, and you should get around 5 to 10 million yen, which is enough for what we need to be doing. Now go reset and click on that right there. And go over here, click on this box right here to enter this. And you're going to want to find Demon Yamada and click on it. Now, I'm just going to buy it. Why not? I don't really need Kaiken. I'm just going to buy Demon Yamada. And you're going to get something that looks like this. Alright? Buy it as you see me do it. And dash here all the way across the park. Yep. And use F. The F. Special to kill all the Algiri members. Like that. And since you can dash, you can avoid their attacks like this. Oh, I'm lagging. So click the bodies, rough them up a little. They start running after you get them low. Easy. Repeat this until you're level 250. And guess what? Because you need level 250 to be able to attack this Nishiki boss right here. And I'm getting absolutely owned. But the reason you got Demon Yamada is because you can press him up against this wall and you can just spam F. Meanwhile, you're going to want to put all your focus into Queen K. So you should have around 750 Queen K. And that's about the amount of damage you'll be doing to Nishiki. Now that you're level 250, go around these locations. Now, here are the boss locations that you need to know. This one, as you see, Amon spawned. This uh, right here. This is another place they could be spawning at. This is a very classical location. A lot of bosses I've seen spawn here. And no one can forget this spawn right here. A boss could be spawning here, as it just did. Anyways guys, you're going to want to keep killing Nishiki until you're level 400. Now here's a method that I've seen works really well. I'm going to have to leave my private server to have this take full effect. But what we're going to do essentially is reset and find the CCG yeah. mm -hmm. and just f go around the boss locations I was talking about before to find, to find Nishiki. Also guys, if you didn't know how to claim your re reputation, just click on this uh, Yoshitaki guy and press this. <laughs> Can't believe some people don't know how to do this. And you see how there's no Nishiki in this server, so we're just going to block the first person. Yeah, fuck them, <laughs> leave the game, and rejoin. Let's see if I can find Nishiki in the server. Now, using this method, at the most, it should take two days. And by two days, I mean four to six hours of farming if you have the free time. Yeah, it's, there's no Nishiki, so there's no reason to stay in the server. There was a mod, but yeah, just gonna block, leave, who cares, fuck them. Alright, and I think you're getting the gist now. And when you're level 400, as I say, 
find the lower play server or go into a private server, which I will do right now. I uh, hopefully you guys know how to find uh, private servers on public servers, if that makes sense. Just find low player servers. Hopefully you guys are smart enough to do that. Comment down below if you're not. Really, um, I'm happy to help. Alrighty, and when you're in this private server or whatever it is you're in, a public server with little players, little to no players, you're going to want to start. Now, I've done the calculations, and if you have two times EXP game time, then you can get 1,200 levels from doing all of your trainers, every, every one of them. Now, it'll take a bit of getting used to the mechanics, but as long as you're not making too many mistakes and taking a little more time, you'll reach it within within a day or two. Keep farming Nishki, as this is very important, as he gives a valid EXP boost. This is very important. Keep in mind. Keep going for Nishki. Claim your reputation every two hours, as I showed you before, by going to that man in the CCG building, right here, CCG, right there, and clicking Claim Your Reputation. This is uh, also pretty important since you'll need to get better weapons. You'll also want to farm the Algidi members that I was talking about before while you wait for these bosses to spawn. When you reach level 750, as you will inevitably do in probably around 3 to 4 hours, maybe even 2 if you're you know, a god, <laughs> start farming the Amon boss. Well, what would be even better is if you're able to farm in a VIP server just like this one, right? Well, I've linked my VIP server in the description for 30 days because that's the amount of days I'm going to have it. So if you watch this video in the first month, you'll have exclusive access to my VIP server. It'll just make things easier. And guys, share the bosses. Moving on. After you've finished all the trainers, you should be around level 1600 to level 1700 depending on how efficient you were. At this point, you'll most definitely have 55 million yen or 56 million yen, if not more. So go back to the Quinque shop, I was talking about reset, and click this thing right here. Buy something called Scorpion 1 out of 56. This is it. I'm gonna buy it. Buy with yen. Yep. This allows you to farm all the bosses very easily at a very cheap cost. Now look at how I decimate Nishiki's health. Oof, absolutely destroyed. Half health already, huh? Now, hop servers or wait in my VIP server or any VIP server for bosses and farm every boss you see in the server. If on a public server, just block someone like I did before, keep just claiming reputation to eventually buy the Kijiri Quinke that can be used to farm Yakikatsu that spawns over here. You should be reaching max level from this rotational boss farming in two to three days. I know this is very possible because I got my brother's account to level 1000 in two and a half days in my Noob to Pro series. If you're not gonna be farming a lot of the time though, you're probably not gonna get max level in one week. But hey, you didn't come here expecting that you didn't have to do any work, right? That's how life works. You can't just expect to get benefits without working in every avenue of life. It's been your host, Frederick. Socials in the description. I'm out. She's so